In this demonstration, I'm going to show you the Room Manager Admin Panel. The Room Manager Admin Panel is accessible through your Room Manager site slash lists slash RM Admin Panel, all items ASPX, or you can go to the uh, site content and under site contents, under the lists, you will find uh, this list which helps you to uh, modify and configure uh, a certain settings on your Room Manager site. When you get to this URL, you will see Room Manager Admin Panel. Uh, just click on the Admin Panel and in the detail view you see here different components which let you configure easily your Room Manager. One of the items that you should note is hiding tabs of the Room Manager site. Uh, can be done here. So if you don't use, for example, car booking or you don't use equipment tabs, you just click them and save them and these tabs will be hidden. In this sample I save it as it is and all the tabs are shown. A second component uh, which let you configure is the format of the hour settings, 12 hour or 24 hour settings and another one is the manager email so here you can set one or more email addresses of approvers or managers if the content approval is set to on. The content approval workflow video as well is available uh, on the room manager site so you can easily find that uh, when you go to the room manager site and on the room manager site you search here for a content approval and you will easily find uh, articles about how to set up content approval uh, on uh, Room Manager as well with videos which explain you in detail every step. Catering Manager email, this is an additional field which can be edited if you are using uh, the catering functions and you do catering bookings with the room reservation you can enter one or separate email addresses so each time catering is ordered an email is sent to this corresponding email address. The last is the start buffer time and end buffer time settings. You see that we have here zero. So entering 10 for example uh, for start buffer time and 10 minutes for end buffer time will automatically add or deduct this buffer time to any event. So setting 10 minutes would mean for example that when you make a booking and you choose uh, for example for today a booking which takes space at let's say 4 p.m. so automatically the booking will calculate this buffer time um, let me show you a sample I say London I say Canary Wharf for 4 p.m. till let's say 5 p.m. and I book the room you will see that the event is automatically added and deducted with the buffer time setting. So 10 minutes before 3.50 and uh, 10 minutes after the event to 5.10. These are the settings for the admin panel in a room manager with the different components mentioned in this video.